Ariel show. Put that block upon our desk. Zahara, stop that. You guys are having a great Sabbath. Zahara, Brielle, stop that. So we're going to go and start with our intro. She did that she all it took was her. No, that's not why she Yes, she did. She took her car. She didn't want to get in her high chair from the very beginning when I put her in there. I know what she wanted. She doesn't want to be in her high chair. I know what she'll keep her in her high chair. She's going to stand there regardless. So go ahead and start introductions over there. No, start introductions over there. No, start introductions over there. Put your down. Over there. Put your down. No. Go ahead, little boy in the blue. What's your name? Red King. Red King? Red King. Red, Red cheese. cheese. Okay, so today we have red cheese and a blue shirt. <laughs> Go ahead, next. It's Ari. It's one of you guys. It's you. Oh, it's you. It's you. So, no, so I say my week is in. I, I didn't say how my week was. Oh, yes. Please tell us how your week is. Oh. Little, little, uh, I mean, uh, red, oh, red cheese and blue shirt. Hey, do I need to separate the two of you? No. So, stop it. If we guys, if you guys are gonna make all this fuss over names, and we just won't do it anymore, and I'll just say your names. This is a luxury to make up your names. Don't be rude. Okay, continue. Sorry. Okay, my next, my week was good. Why would you be good? Because I'm full of life. Because you're full of life. Great answer. I feel like I've heard that somewhere else before. Who else usually says that? Okay. Little old boy in the checkered colored shirt. What's your name? Checkered boy. Checkered boy. That's Lion King. They can't hear you. Lion King. Okay, Lion King. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Lion King, how was your week? Good. And why was your week good, Lion King? It was good. For, it's good. For, your life is good for nothing. <laughs> you got a new rug. Didn't you, didn't you get a new rug this week, Lion King? Nobody wants to play. Okay, so what does that have to do with? Why we were playing Marvel no. just now? Cheer up, Lion King. Okay, well I'm gonna take your backpack away, and I'm gonna take your Minecraft cup away, and I'm gonna take your Legos away since your week was just good for nothing. These people are ungrateful. Okay. Thank you. I'm glad you're not ungrateful. Turn around, little girl, in the pink dress, whatever your name is. Okay, little boy in the monster skating germ monster. Oh, skate skate monster. Okay, that's your name. Skate no. Monster? Oh. Lion King number. No, King. No, Lion King. What are you gonna be? Skate monster. Skate monster. Okay. My name is skate monster too. <laughs> no, it's not. It's Lion King. Okay, so Skate Monster, how was how was your week, Skate Monster? Good. Uh, red cheese. Be quiet. <laughs> red cheese. Okay, I'm glad your week was good. Why was your week good, um, Skate Monster? Mm, oh yeah. Mm, let's see. Because I was ungrateful. Your week was good because you were ungrateful. Okay. Explain, please. I guess I was bored. So then, what is your week? Boring? It was boring. Oh, I meant to say it was good and bad at the same time. Okay. Because I was bored, and because the other part, because that's killing the bad side. The, my neighbor, the, the sister of my neighbor, because the brother is my friend, mm -hmm. the sister, she likes to fight. Uh -huh. She likes to fight, but not to go there to play with, with her brother. And so what do you do when she fights? And ignore her. Ignore her. 
You ask him to stop. Hey, I'm good to be stupid, and she likes to say, you're not in your room. She likes to <laughs> She likes you to get a good point because, let's see. Because I get a good point because I can't hear. Okay. Well, that's a good thing. Aria, please take her to the, that dress needs to be, I don't know where that dress came from or what's wrong with that dress, but it needs to be addressed. Yeah, that's okay. Can you put her in that dress? Huh? No, don't take, don't do it in here. Take her out. This is not what it is. No, it's, it's not the dress, it's just big for you. Okay, and what's your name, little girl in the leaf dress? Sunset. Okay, Sunset. And how was your week, Sunset? Good. How was your week, good, Sunset? Because I got my backpack and my backpack. Okay, what else did you get? My Uh, the template is in the description, so you just need to go to my website and you can download it. And I didn't do the whole thing because I'll let Nava finish it, but I just gave you a sample of what it looks like. And so you'll cut color, everything, and then cut, there you go, cut out your apostles and put them on the inside. Uh, it's not my template. It's from another lady, but uh, Sarah J Creations. Um, the only thing that I'm going to say is that we're going to change. Um, they still are listing Judas as one of the 12. But we're going to change that to Matthias because he took uh, Judas's place. And yeah. Anyway. So that's what we're going to be doing today for our project. And would anybody like to do their scripture remembrance? Sit down and raise your hand. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead and go first, Red Cheese. No, first I'm here. I'm not a real. See my name here? Hey, Moses, hey. <laughs> I'm Checkerboard. Okay. Checkerboard. 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 Go ahead. Stand up. Proverbs 29, verse 23. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Good job. You're going to get a two finger. One. Uh, Brew? Okay, go ahead. Hey, uh, that was when I went for you. Okay, you can go. Proverbs 29, verse 23. A man's pride shall bring him low, but but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Good job. You get you get a finger wave. <laughs> Shay. 
Okay. Yeah, good day. Unicorns. Yeah, good day. 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 Shall bring him all, but honor, but honor shall uphold the humble and You get, you get a naughty finger. Good job, sit down. I'm you get a naughty, you get okay. a naughty finger. Good job, you guys can all have a treat, even though they cheated, because they just, they just Thank started you, mommy. Yeah, you can have one too. <laughs> Wait, now what I have to say, 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 say a man's pride. Say a man's pride and mine's pride shall bring him low, bring him low. but honor shall but honor shall up, say but honor shall uphold and honor shall uphold the humble the humble and the humble the humble and the humble and the humble and the Okay. All right. So today we're going to learn about Yaw's Rock. And this is a trick question. But who do you think Yaw's Rock, or what do you think Yaw's Rock is? Mm, Raise your hand. Um, uh, What do you think Yaw's Rock is? We have a rock and drawers. You have a rock and drawers? Say it loud so I can hear you. And who else wants to try? Uh, checker boy. Y'all's rock is, um, like his products. Man, it's all in his time. I know. Okay. Uh, skate, skate monster. Salvation. Salvation. Nope. 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 Okay, you want to try unicorn? Nope. No, you're a no, loser. No, Yeshua. Yeshua. No, Yeshua. No. Yes. Us. Go ahead. What's the last rock? Let me get us. Last rock means to be special. To be special? No. You guys know the answer? You want to try? No. You guys give up? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Matthew 16, verse 13 mm -hmm. through 20. And these passages are going to be kind of long. 16, verse 13 through 20. All of these passages today are going to be kind of long. Yes, ma'am. That was going to be extremely long. This one's bothering me. What first? Matthew 16, 13 through 20. Okay, uh, we're going to take turns because all these are long. So we're going to go... Um, 13 through 14. Skate, skate Monster, you can read 13 and 14. Okay. Checker, checker skater. When Jesus, when Yah came. Yeshua, in, when Yeshua came into. Oh, oh, yeah, when Yeshua came into the course of Caesarea. Caesarea Philippi. Caesarea Philippi. Uh, he, he asked. He asked his disciples, saying, Who wants to do, whom do we say that I the son of man am? Okay, keep on. And they said, Some say that you, that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias and other Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. Okay, so Yeshua came and he said, he asked his disciples, he said, who do men say that the son of man am? Or who do, say, who do men say that I, the son of man, am? And they started saying, oh, some say John the Baptist, some say Wyatt, others say Jeremiah or one of the prophets. Okay, verse 15. Me. I have a question. Yes, sir. Did you join us? Yes, I did, but it has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Okay. Verse 15 and 16, go ahead and read um, Unicorn. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter, Simon Peter? Yes. That's his name? Simon Peter, yes. 
Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art a, art the Yeshua, the Christ, the, or Christ, the Messiah, the Messiah, the Son of the Living God. Uh -huh. Seventeen and eighteen. Kimari. <laughs> You're not, okay, you're not ready, so then I'm going to read. Which and I name say name also name? unto thee that thou art Peter. You didn't and my a, name. I thought it was his turn. It doesn't matter. You're not even looking at the scripture so that we can keep going. Because now you have to find where you're at. So you should be reading along with everybody else and not looking into the sky. So verse, no, verse 18, verse 17 and 18. Uh, sorry, 16 and 17. And Peter and Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living Yah. And Yeshua answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Bar Jonah. Bar Jonah means son of Jonah. Bar would mean son of Jonah. For flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. So who told Peter that Yeshua was the Son of Yah? It just, we just read it. Who told Peter? Yeah. No, Yeshua it said that, okay, I'm going to read it again. And Yeshua answered unto him, or said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father, which is in heaven, right? So, I'm sorry, and I also, and I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not against it and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound on heaven and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven then charged he his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Yeshua the Christ so why do you think that he didn't want them to tell anybody because they were afraid he was going to die they were afraid you thought Yeshua thought he was afraid he's going to die why do you think he said don't tell anybody because he didn't want anybody to tell anybody else. Okay, to tell anybody else. Because he, had, because he had something to do, and if, if they told them, then everybody would have come looking for him. Good answer. Okay, everybody say Shalom Aurelius. Shalom Aurelius. Don't say the color. No. Aurelius, why do you think that uh, Yeshua told them not to say anything about who he was? And there's not really an answer because it doesn't really say, but uh, according to what we see in the Bible, because when people found out who he was, they kind of all like, they attached themselves and they thronged him. Like so many people came, people wanted to kill him and people wanted to get healing from him. So he had a, a mission to do, right? He needed to go out and proclaim the things that Yah had told him to do. So he needed to complete his mission. Okay, so why do you think that Yeshua picked Peter? It's because he it was super strong. You think Peter's smart and brave. And you think Peter's super strong, smart, and brave? Why do you think that uh Yeshua picked Peter? Why do you think Checker Kid? Because um because he knew he loved money and he had to be crucified, so he knew that he was gonna get money to crucify him. So you think that Yah or so that Yeshua picked Peter. Remember, he just told Peter that upon this rocks. So you so he's building. He, Peter is his rock. So he says upon this rock, which is Peter. You guys, like going back to. Peter, he's gonna, uh, <gasps> the, he the, chose the, Peter. And verse eighteen, Matthew sixteen eighteen, and I say unto thee, Thou art Peter, which means rock. And upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So Peter is the rock, right? And so you think Peter's going to betray him for money? No. Okay. So why do you think that he picked Peter? Because because Peter was arrogant and he wanted him to be a letter again. You think? So you think Yeshua picked somebody who was arrogant to build his church? No. He chose him because he was a good teacher and the most helpful. Remember, it said that the Spirit, it said that, the, sorry, that Yah had revealed that to Peter, that he was the son of Yah. So we can already see that the spirit was operating in Peter, right? So that's why I personally feel like he picked Peter. There are probably some other reasons, but the Bible doesn't really say. Okay, so what is the importance of having a rock as a foundation? To keep your steady off the ground and high. And to keep 
and steady to keep you steady. That's right. What about what have we learned about building a foundation on sand? Like if you guys have ever tried to build a sand castle and the waves come, right? What happens to your sand castle? It just runs immediately. Because when it does, you're like telling the story about the men of building. It's going to rock and when they build it, it's going to sand. Yeah, that's the parable, right? So the man who built his house on a rock, what happened when the winds came? It didn't blow his house down. It didn't blow his house down, right? The sand, the sand. When you guys see houses built out here, most time houses are built on what, what material do they use? Concrete. Concrete, right? And what is concrete made of? Rock. Rock. Made of rocks, right? Rocks and sand and water. Minerals. And minerals, right? And big mountains. And big mountains. So rock is important, right? So Yeshua is going to pick something to build his church. Is he going to pick water? Is he going to build a boat church? No. Yes. Is he going to build? Is he going to build his church on paper? Yeah. Is he going to build his church on uh, your dirty clothes? No. Yes. yes. What about what about on clouds? That would be a good material to build your church on, right? Yeah. Yeah, but oh, everybody would be coming to your church. Yeah. So, what does he choose to build his his foundation? I mean, his church on? No one well, would want to go uh, on a cloud church because there's no oxygen up there. Yeah. What if the clouds were low though? Like fall. Yes. No, 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 because then you will pass through the clouds because the clouds are like smoke. Okay. So now we know that Peter is the rock, right? Peter's the rock that Yah is building his church on. Oh and, so, wait, so yes, he's actually sticking his church on his head? No, he's not. Peter means rock. Yeah. <laughs> what he said. Right, so he's sticking his church on top of Peter, not literally, but figuratively. Peter is going to be the one that builds up Yah's church. Or Yeshua's oh, church, right? Yeah, like kind of like Noah, right? I guess Yah could have just put a boat in here, but he had somebody to build his boat, right? And who did he pick? He built Noah. So he's using Peter. And Peter's not going to do it all by himself, right? But Peter's going to one that's going to take uh, the leadership of it. Is there anything else that you guys know about Peter? No. So you think that Yeshua picked somebody who's going to betray him to build his church? Does that make any sense? So if you were going to build a house, you're going to pick somebody who's going to steal your money and steal your yeah. materials. That makes no sense. So no, it's not Peter did not betray him. You're thinking Judas. Okay, sit up. Why do you guys think, uh, or sorry, um, what else do you guys know about Peter? That Peter was a good man. Okay, can you say it in English? He was a tax collector. Mm, no, that was, that, was, that was Matthew. I think Matthew was the tax collector. Okay, so we're going to find out some more about Peter today. Okay, so what was Peter, before Peter was going with Yeshua, what was Peter doing? Do you know? He was not collecting taxes! He was Oh, pescado fish, okay. Ah, I know that word. I said fish, I said fish. Yes, so Peter was a fisherman. I said was a Sit up, please, and put your leg Yeah, down. put right. your leg on your So Peter was a fisherman, Matthew 4. So when I said, ah, what do you know about Peter? Why didn't you say anything? <laughs> First one. Matthew chapter 4. <laughs> Go ahead and read unicorn. ¿Qué? Again? No. Matthew uh, get Matthew 4 and 18. Mateo 4 y 18. Siempre por Siéntese, por favor. That's what I just said. Por favor. <laughs> okay. Matthew 4 and 18. Go ahead and read your 18? Yes. I think she said 8, but I'm there. And Yeshua was and Yeshua walking by the Sea of Galilee. Galilee, uh huh. Galilee. Galilee. Saw two brethren, Simon called Peter. And Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. Fishers. Oh. Hmm. Oh, fishers. Right. So, so you, you said that me. So skate, skate, whatever, skate monster. You were right. He was a fisherman, right? Yo lo predi. Let me predict it. 
You predict, oh, okay, so you can tell the future, even though it's already happened in the past. Mm -hmm. You're a bad predictor. He, she's Look gonna be this. a poor woman. Hey. That's not true. Did you read 19? Because no, no, okay, no, 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 so who fishes men? Do you do you stand outside and the guy walks by and go <laughs> and you reel them in and you hold cheese over their head and uh that's what you do? Yes. Okay, anybody in English. I'll just transfer. You didn't you don't need to do it for this. You are going to talk to the people or they'll come and serve you. Okay, good answer. Perfect answer, right? So no, it does not mean that you are literally going to be out there with a fishing pole trying to catch men on a fishing pole. It's so you got to get the bait money. No, your bait is not money, right? Your bait is the fruits of the spirit, right? The love that you show them. I don't offer anybody. When I invite people to come to service. No, you do like what they're doing. Miss Whitney, I'm going to preach Kimari five You guys are being rude. Okay, I'm not saying rude. Kimari... You might know Wilson. Wilson, you're being real. Right. So when I go and invite somebody to to you know come watch service or when I want them to talk about the Bible, I don't offer them money. What do I offer them? I may uh, offer to have a barbecue where I can spend time with them and teach them about the word or invite them to class or give them a ride, right? It's the acts, it's the kind services that we do for people. You that, will, that will intrigue them to come because they see that light, they'll see Christ light in you. If you just give them money, that's not Christ light because there's no light in, in money, but Christ is love, right? So if you offer them love, then they'll want to find out more about that love, right? So. That's what people are going to be using. That's going to be their bait, as Amir said. Um, not money. So, Excuse how would me, you? I had something in my head. I want to ask you, but now you're going to forget it. I'm sorry. If you remember again, uh, let me know. Okay. So, how would you guys feel? You're like out there doing your own thing, and you're just like fishing or whatever. And this guy's like, "Hey, hey, you, come follow me." And would you be like, "Okay." Stop. Because yeah. remember, they're like on a boat and they're like fishing or whatever. Well, I just, I just uh, go to the thing, okay, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. it's round of all the questions. Yeah, and then afterwards, then you trust you and just eat him. You're going to eat him? What? We're no, I'm just going to trust him. It's a cannibal you. He's a, he's a cannibal. <laughs> Uh, what would, would you do? Would you guys follow him? Like if somebody, honestly, if somebody was like, hey, come follow me. No, would you follow right. me? Usually your parents are like, stranger would, danger, right? Don't. You don't even ask me to because you don't see what I am. In English. I wouldn't follow him because I don't know why he's calling me. Yeah, right? Is he offering you candy? Yeah. Is he offering you money? You really got to learn to talk I do need to learn to talk Spanish. I understand clearly of what he says. Okay, but then they, there's people out there that are watching like Aurelius, uh -huh. right? And Aurelius doesn't uh, speak Spanish. And Aurelius said, nah, he said, stranger, man. Or sorry, stranger danger, man. That's right, Aurelius. So somebody came up to me and was like, hey, he'll follow me. I was like, I don't want to die. But obviously we know that the spirit is working in these people, right? The spirit, they don't have the spirit yet, but the spirit is working in them because it doesn't make any sense according to how the Bible says it happened, right? Does it, there may have been more conversation. There may have been more conversation or less conversation. We don't know. But according to what the Bible says, he says, follow me, and they came, right? And they weren't the only people that he said that to. A lot of, of most of his 12 disciples, he said, come follow me, and they all just started following him. No more goofy answers. No, Miss so, Whitney, mm -hmm. for you to talk Spanish, you got to, like, learn how to use your word. It's not like talking, you're, like, you pronouncing it in Spanish, but the background's, like, in English. See, okay. see but you know what's not going to happen? While I'm in class trying to teach this Bible study, uh, it's not my time for a Spanish lesson. It's your time for a Bible study lesson. So why don't we turn off your Spanish and turn on your English so not only you can learn, but they can learn and they can hear they what can you're saying. German. And I don't have to keep asking you repeatedly to say it in English. Because I want to know what you're saying. If you say it in Spanish, then I don't understand and I can't I can't validate the things that you're saying.
10. Like if you're saying, Miss Whitney, uh, the answer is 50, and I don't know what you're saying in Spanish, right? That's fine, it doesn't matter. But I can't say like, yes, Amir, you're right, or Amir, you're wrong, because I don't know what you're saying. So if you want me to validate what you're saying, you have to speak it in a language okay. which I understand. Okay. And plus, um, he speaks so fast that sounds like a commercial TV piece on the back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Unicorn. Um. Um. Monster Steak is this. Okay. Thank you, Unicorn. Okay, so from early on, Peter was showing a level of faith, right? Because it takes faith to get up and go follow. He left everything behind. He left his parents. He left his dog. He left his uh, house, his wallet of money, whatever he had, his occupation. And he took efficient. a luggage that time. And, and he went, uh, now nah, go get, get her some water. And he went and followed the Messiah, right? And, and he was uh, showing that he was apt to work in the ministry. So this continued throughout his walk. He just was a, a standout apostle. Well, right now he's just a disciple, right? But eventually he becomes an apostle and he becomes Yah's, or Yeshua's chief apostle. And he was such a big apostle that you guys know the apostle Paul? Mm -hmm. Even the apostle Paul had to come to Peter when, when he had questions. Because again, upon this church, right? Upon Peter, Yah was building his church or Yeshua. They're interchangeable here. So every man is given a measure of faith. But when you abound and when you walk according to God's word, your faith will grow stronger and stronger and stronger. How did the three Hebrew boys, how did their faith get stronger? Did it get stronger by them going to the store? No. no. Did it get stronger by them buying a cow? No. What happened? How did their faith get stronger, a uh, unicorn? Uh, it's because as, um, they pray to you so they can deliver them and then in the big bad kids like Bob. Um, yeah, through the fiery furnace, through trials, right? They abound as strong and stronger. Yes, ma'am. Um, um, how did he get strong? By eating strong food. He ate strong food, yep. When you eat strong food, that makes you strong too. Excuse me. So how how do you know your strength is, your your faith is strong? By going to sleep. By going to the gym? By going to the gym. That's how you increase your faith? Yeah, because you work out with your faith. Mm, I don't think this is how it works out. I think you work out with your muscles. Again, it is tried. Has your faith ever been tried before? Yeah. Can you want to tell me a story? No. No? Okay. Has your faith ever been tried before? Have you yeah. ever gone through something and you had to stand up for righteousness, but it might have been kind of hard? And that's okay for it to be kind of hard. Yeah. When I was in school, I used to get a problem, but I did something. But you what? I used, they used to fight with me, but then they used to go and tell the teacher a lie that I was beating him up, which is a big lie. Then they used to carry me to the principal, and then I then used to get college, and then I knew how to handle it. Because you know how to put your hands with yourself like King David, where you handle yourself good when you go out before the people? Or did you did you give the principal candy? And I gave her five bucks. You gave her five bucks. That's no, bribery. Talk. That's not good. No, okay. I, I, I just talked talk to the principal. Okay, so Aurelius. Hold on. Aurelius said yes, but his faith has been tried. Okay, go ahead, Unicorn. I want to say something. Go ahead. You want, you're going to share? Yeah. One time we Don't arrived. Don't do that. Stop that. Close the Bible because you're putting on the pages. One time when my. Um, have my faith got tried is where I wanted to do something from the stores because it, 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 I didn't have enough money to pay for it, so I'm like, I want that. And then I'm gonna get it. Yes, and you may not have gotten it, you still may not get it, but you also may get something better in the future, so it's good. Like a RPG. Like a what? RPG. But it's good that you stood your ground, well, right? And you kept the commandments. You don't think that, do you think that the most I saw that you did the right thing? Yeah, he did. And but he was she very did proud of you. Was you were wasting her glitter. Okay. So do you do you know what was one of the other ways that Peter's um faith was tried? Yeah. Yeah. Preaching, I don't know what it's okay. Oh no, but putting him in the dungeon? Nope. Has something to do with water. <sighs> Drowning him by drowning him, baptizing. Did he drown him no, while he was I baptizing I him? I know. Yeah. Well, he walked on the water and his, and his faith 
Then he lost faith and he was thinking. That's right. So I'm going to read this one. Matthew 14, verse 22. I'm going to read this. Well, you can still open your Bible and follow along. Matthew 14, verse 22. Hi, Nikki Mari. And straightway Yeshua, shh, that requires no talking. And straightway Yeshua constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea and tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Yeshua went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But straightway Yeshua spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter, remember our rock, answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me to come on the water. And he said, come. So Peter was full of faith, because you're like, the wind's almost, Brrr. it's a crazy storm. And then you guys see somebody walking on water. You guys, everybody spooked out. And they're like, you know what? If it's you, tell me to come out there. Come on, I'm your guy, tell me. Who, who's going to do that? That's kind of crazy, right? I was going to try you're gonna, but remember, most people kind of think probably like Yeshua called him, but he's like, nah, call me. Like, like he was challenging Yeshua, right? So as um skate skate, Mo skate skate monster said, right? He walks out of water. So uh where am I at? And he said, Come, and when Peter was come down on the ship, he walked on water to go to Yeshua. But when he saw the wind was boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. The rock got heavy and cried, saying, sit up, Kamari. <laughs> sit up all the way. <laughs> and immediately Yeshua stretched forth his hand and caught him, right? Like we always say, Yeshua's right there. No, you got all right, Yah is right there. So when, you, when Peter started to sink, he didn't let him sink and drown, okay, right? He was you. there and he had his back. Wait. No, he didn't have his Wait. back. Wait. Just, 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 and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? So in the beginning, Peter's faith was really high, right? But something happened. What was happening? His the faith was blowing the rain. The wind was blowing. Please stop giving goofy answers. The wind was blowing, and it started to frighten him, and he, and he lost faith, or he was losing his faith, and he began to sink, right? So in our situations, should we lose faith? No. Yeah. We have to have some faith. We have to keep our faith. No more silly answers. No, I'm not gonna say silly answers. Yes, sweetheart. I was gonna say that my sin has been just in a million and a half times. Right. Aurelia so, said. When I don't finish. Oh, sorry. It's because when I go to the river, every time I don't know when I get into one like the holes where I'm swimming and swimming in the shallow part, but then one of those who is like, you're sinking me down. Yeah, that's why I don't like the river because there's like it's inconsistent. Like a pool, you know, okay, this is four feet, that's five feet, that's ten feet. But in a river, it's like you're walking and then there's like this big hole, like the real in the pools. Oh, it's crazy. It's like, oh, here's this little pool. And the next thing you know, it's like 12 feet deep, and you're like, oh, I'm drowning. But yeah. So and then Yeshua, right? Then, I hate when we like this. We're moving on. And when they were coming to the ship, the wind ceased. So then Yeshua oh, takes Peter. You can leave because we're not going to do that. You got your head on the table. Then you complain that no one wants to listen to you. We have to move on. There are other people who are watching. It's not just us. And I don't want to spend 20 minutes talking about rivers. That's not what we're talking about. Right? Correct? Okay. Thank you. So when they got on the ship, the wind ceased. Because who has control over the wind? No one. Yeah. Right? So they walk on the ship and all of a sudden the wind just stops. Yeah. Yeah, sure, right? It says, what manner of the scripture? I don't know where it's at. It I says, thought you said what, a human being. Oh, what manner of man is this? The wind and sea obey him. He has control over everything, right? <laughs> Aurelia said 20 minutes talking about rivers. That's right, Aurelia. That's why we're moving on. Okay. So because he failed the test, this was essentially a test for him, right? Do you think Yeshua was done with him? Do you think like, ah, uh, Peter, nope, I'm gonna pick somebody else. I don't want to build my my uh, my church on top of you. Is that you think that's what Yeshua said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He, yeah. You. he could have, right? A test is given for a reason, right? A test shows us areas where we are weak and need to grow on. Yah or Yeshua didn't love Peter any less, 
but it showed PETA an area where he needed to grow. PETA? PETA. That's, yeah. PETA. PETA? <laughs> what do you think would have happened if you were in that situation? I was dying. He would, he would just murder me. What'd you say? Murder myself. How are you, you're already thinking you might as well just drown. You know, that's not really murdering yourself. I mean, you never see your family. Uh, and then the most I would just be like, here's your money. Come get it. You're just singing. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Uh, what, if I was in that situation, I don't think I would have challenged the most. I don't think I would have ever got out the boat in the first place. I'd be like, I'm cool. I'm not doing I'm, that. I'm what would you have done, Amelia? Do Chachi it. said hi, everybody. Chacha! Okay. What would you have done, Skate King, Skate Monster? Would you have gotten on a boat? Yeah. Yeah, you would have tried it. Would you have gotten? Would you gotten scared halfway through? I would. I, actually, I would have had my men just like have the like little booby like thingy. Oh, just, you would have the just have everything ready. So like, if I if I'm he's sorry. lying, if he's lying, is pull my vest jacket and just walk back up. But they didn't have that back in. Yeah. Can you imagine you're like sinking and they like throw a rubber ducky at you? A <laughs> <laughs> rubber ducky. Right. Okay. So. Uh, Aurelia said he wouldn't have risk sinking, so no, I'm, I'm with you, Aurelia. I'm, I'm scared. I'm like, I just, if somebody went up there, I'll be touching my foot on the ground, like, I mean, I'm just, I would like, just be, hey, I can do it. But what's, what's funny is he started touch. sinking, but Peter probably knew how to swim, right? So why did he get scared? Like, it's not, I guess, maybe the wind blowing, but it's not like he didn't know how to swim. Yeah, my husband wants to be in there, always under there, sharks, whales, monsters. Like, they did it all the time. Like okay. Monster. And Chachi said, how are you guys doing? Good. 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 I'm, I'm good, good Chachi. We're, we're good. Okay. So that wasn't the only time that Peter lacked faith. But sometimes it's like that. When you are a baby, you have to first learn how to crawl before you walk. Some babies don't. But most babies learn to crawl and then they walk. And then from walking, you learn how to run, right? And along the way, you're going to fall. You're going to hurt yourself. You're not going to get it perfect every time. You're not going to get it perfect every time. You're going to make mistakes. But when you make those mistakes, it's important that you get back up. You ever seen a baby fall and just don't get back up ever again? Yeah. No. Most babies fall and they keep trying. They keep trying to learn how to walk. And that's the way it is. That's the way it is with our walk with Almighty. You're going to make mistakes, but when you make them, you have to keep going, right? Because that's where salvation comes. So let's go to Proverbs 24 and 16. I'm not giving you any more water because you spilled your water on the floor. Duh, I was just saying. 24 to what? 16. <laughs> Sit down, please. Um, Ariel, uh, scoot your chair over 24. so he can scoot his chair over so he can sit at the table. I okay, go ahead. His hands, his hands was up and his fingers on it. Your fingers down on it. But I was still the blue pen can't be in my It's okay. Is there, a, is there a prize for reading the most scriptures? Yes. Yeah. No, it's not. We'll put you in the Okay, go ahead. Proverbs 24 and 16. For a man has fallen seven times and rises up again, but the wicked shall fall into mercy. Okay, so how many times did this just man fall? Seven. Seven times. But, and what does he do? It's not that he fell, but he did what? He, ro he rose up again. He rose up again. That's right. So this doesn't mean we, we live a life of falling. Like, we don't try to commit sin. We don't like, well, it doesn't matter because all I have to do is just get back up, right? We stop. So you have to step on his foot. You can't just move your foot away and you can't just say, please don't step on my foot. Or you can't raise your hand and say, Miss Whitney, he's stepping on my foot. Like you were doing, like okay, it, it doesn't matter. Stop it, both of you. So we don't we don't intentionally sin. Because if you intentionally sin, Yah judges your heart, right? And you're not going to make it into the kingdom. But sometimes things happen and you do transgress. And when you do transgress, you have to get back up. You have to dust yourself off and try again. First John 2, verse 1. What did you say? Sometimes it is there are some things that you can do, like blaspheming against First the Holy John Ghost. Or John? First John, listen. Like That's blaspheming true. against the Holy Ghost that you cannot return from that. First John chapter two, verse one. Okay, go ahead and read it. 
My little children, these things write, I write uh, I unto you that ye sin not, and any man sin, we will have. And if any man sin, we have. We have had an advocate, uh -huh. an advocate with the Father of Yeshua in righteousness. My little children, these things I write unto you that ye sin not. So should we sin? No. Okay. And if and if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Yeshua Hamashiach, the righteous. So what do you think was the other way that Peter lacked faith? Yeshua even warned him before he even made this mistake. He said, watch out. Nobody knows? Do you know Aurelius? Do you know Chachi? Do you know Aurelius? Do you know Chachi? Do you know whoever else is watching? Okay, so we're going to read it. Matthew 26. There you go. Matthew 26. Um, I'm going to read it. Because you guys are being distracted today. Then said Yeshua unto them, All ye shall be offended of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after I am risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. Peter answered and said unto him, Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet I will never be offended. Yeshua said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this night before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me how many times? Three times. Three times, that's right. Sit up. What's a cock? A rooster. A, a rooster, that's right. So before the rooster crows three times, you're going you're gonna to deny me. Peter said unto him, though, uh, that, though I should die with thee, yet, I will, yet will I not deny thee. Likewise said all the disciples. So Peter's real, Peter's real bold, right? Peter's real like, yeah, call me out on this ocean. I'm not going to deny you. Like Peter's a little fighter for the Messiah, right? But we see sometimes you got that spirit, but the faith don't follow. So who, who thinks that they would be like, I'm going to fight for you? I think everybody would say that they're going to fight for the Messiah. Well, it's a, it depends. If the people are stalkers, forget it. And just the new Messiah. I'm sorry, bro. Those are we're not we're not talking about suckers. Okay, so turn to Luke 22 and 54. Aurelius said he wants you to say that he's going to Luke, what? Luke 22 verse 54. What do you want, child? 22. You want out? Behave. Okay, I'm going to read this one too. Scoot over. Then took they him. So they took Yeshua. And they led him away and brought him in the high priest's house. And Peter followed afar off. And when they had kindled the fire in the midst of the hall and were set down together, Peter sat down among them. But a certain maid beheld him as he sat by the fire and earnestly looked on him and said, This man was also with him. And he denied, and he denied him, saying, Woman, I know him not. And after a little while, another saw him and said, Thou art also of them. And Peter said, Man, I am not. And about the space of one hour, after another confidently affirmed, saying of the truth, this fellow also was with him, for he is a Galilean. And Peter said, Man, I know not what thou sayest. And immediately, while he yet spake, the cock crew. So how many times crew? How many times was that? Three. Three times, that's right. And Yeshua turned and looked upon Peter. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord. And he said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And Peter went out and wept bitterly. That's got to suck. Like, because you know, Yeshua can't hear what's going on, but you obviously the spirit. So Peter denied him the third time. And then Yeshua, like, looks back at him, like, shakes his head. That's got to hurt. So then Peter went out and cried bitterly. You get the naughty finger. Yes, he got the shame. We're judging him. Judging. Judging. Shame judging. Shame judging. Shame no, shame. 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 Okay. So this is why it's important that we build our faith now. I know this sounds like we're just talking about Peter, but we're not just talking about Peter. Yes. Because 
the whole things about Peter when he walked on the water and then he drowned and most times we have money. In but place. you're not listening. The Bible is all about stuff that happened in the past, but all of it is relevant to our lives now, right? Name oh. something that happened in the Bible that's relevant to our lives right now. Oh, uh, Revelation. Yeah. The book of Revelations, right? Revelation. Leviticus. Leviticus, what? The feast days, right? Leviticus 23. So there's plenty of things that happened before that we still have to abide by that we learn by, right? Quit looking at the TV. So this is why it's important that we build our faith now because there's going to become a time where your, where your faith is going to be tested, where no. people are going to ask you to deny the Messiah no. and deny your belief. But what side are you going to stand on? Are you going to stand with God? The Bible! Are you going to stand with flesh? Because they're going to say, if somebody came up to you and said, Amir, deny the Messiah right now or I'm going to kill you. What are you going to do? I'm going to be like, yes. try it. Try it. Because, I'm going to kill because, you. Because he's going to stand with the knife and most of the spirit is just going to come. Basically. But that's not how you're shooting. Sure. Aurelius. Aurelius. Right now they got a gun at your head. Either deny the Messiah right now or I'm going to shoot you. What you going to do? I, 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 I will learn how to do back with you. Oh, this isn't happen. this isn't a movie, and even actually, yes, go ahead, sweetheart. I was gonna say I would never deny you. That's the that's the right answer. That's what everybody says, right? That's what people say. Everybody's like, we're not gonna just not deny you, Messiah. But we're not gonna comes, once but comes, he's gonna that's down. that's why you have to build your faith. Now, there's actually a story in the apocrypha. It was a woman, and I think she had nineteen sons, seventeen sons. She had a lot of sons, and they lined them all up. And they went one by one and they said, deny the Messiah, we're going to kill you. And the first one said, not going to deny him. And they killed him right there in front of the mother. Second one, killed him in front of the mother. Third one, killed him in front of all of her sons were gone. And they finally got to her and they said, deny the Messiah. You think she's going to deny him? She just watched all of her sons take a stand and not deny him. You think she's going to deny the Messiah? Yeah. No. no, she didn't. She took a stand. So this is relevant. Our faith right now, everything that we go through, going to the store and wanting to steal, and not getting this vaccination and everything that we're going through right now, paying attention in class and not turning around backwards to look at the TV. Everything that we're going through in class is relevant. There's music playing in the background and I should have just cut it off. Matter of fact, go ahead and cut it off so you guys can pay attention because you guys are I don't book this Okay, Good. so everything that we're going through now is relevant to our future, right? To our soul salvation. So go to Romans. Chapter 8, verse 35. Yeah. Romans, sit down and be quiet. Romans, chapter 8. Sorry, Bible. Verse 35. Chapter 8, verse 35. Um, and Aurelius said he will not deny the Christ. That is the right answer, Aurelius. That is a good answer to have. Yes, go ahead, Amir. Who Me. shall separate Me. us from... Who shall separate us from the love of the Messiah. Christ, Messiah. The Messiah. So tribula, tribulation, tribulation or distress or persecution, persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword. So who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation... Shall that separate us? No. Tribulation. Tribulation is like a like a trial. What right? A test. A test. Or distress. Shall the stress separate us from the from the Amashiach? No, but it happens or, to lots of people. It does. Or persecution? No. Or what about when you're hungry? Shall that separate you from Christ? No! That has nothing or, to do with what that. What about what about if you were homeless? It says nakedness, but what if you were homeless? So that separate you from Christ? No. No. Or right oh, what about peril? What's that? I'm hungry. Right like, like your life is on like somebody's holding you over a cliff. Your life is in peril. Or or what about the sword? So I mean, a sword or gun? Because nobody walks around with swords famine. anymore. Famine. Or famine, yeah, right? I Should any of those separate any of those things separate you from the love of Yah? No. You know, I'm right. gonna go get me a sword and walk and put That's a, that's a not gun. what he told him to do. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter, just like Yeshua. He was the perfect sacrifice, right? He was a sheep ready for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that Zahara needs to get off the table. Down. I'm going to put you back in the chair. 
For I am persuaded da, 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 that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor the future, right? Things to come, nor height, nor depth, or any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yah, which is in Christ Yeshua, our Lord. That's a strong stance to have, right? Nothing, not my mom, not my dad, not my husband, not my children, not the store, not a friend, not my house. If your shadow came and took my house right now, I would be sad. Okay. But I'm not going to ser stop serving him because I know at any point in time he can give me something better. He can give me something else. And there's a reason for everything because it all works for the perfecting of our faith. Right? Yes. What? Do you think we'll see all the 19 boys and the women? Uh, yeah, I don't know if they'll know who they are, but you'll you'll definitely see them, they mean right? So that's something that we should all keep in mind. Matthew chapter 10, verse 33. Matthew chapter 10, verse 33. Aurelia said, stay loyal. That's right. Because at the end of the day, all this is going to pass away. And what do we have left? Skin and bones. No, because no. in your skin and bones, we, bones. we just have bones. We have our spirit, Right. And where do you want your spirit to go? You got two options can for your spirit. Up? It can go can up we, or it can go down. Can we kill our spirit? No. Man, yes. Uh, uh, unicorn. Will I kill my spirit if I rip Excuse off my me. head? He, he can asked, you stop being goofy? He asked yes. for the check in first. Uh, Matthew 10 and 33. Aurelius says he but wants to go up. Whatsoever shall be. But whosoever, but whosoever shall confuse me before me. Confuse me. Oh, sorry. But whosoever yes. Stop shall it, Zahara. Deny me. Deny me. Deny me before men. He will. He will. He. Him will. I also deny before my Father, which is. That's right. So if you deny him before men, and if I if I go if me and this guy are dating, right? You don't want this. What do you want? She wants some exactly blue thing. You think she? I thought you said nobody liked them. Us, but she likes. Okay, well then go get her one. It's fine. So if I if I'm dating this guy, right? And I'm like, yeah, this is this is my boyfriend. He like, girl, I don't know you. In the future, if he wants to lay claim to me, do you think I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, I know him? Right. No, I'm not, right? So if you deny Christ now, he's not gonna acknowledge you. Zahara, stop it. What do you want? You want a banana? Stop it. You be nice, that's not nice. Okay. So you don't get to deny him. Are you so you have a whole bag over there? Put him up. You don't get to deny him and then expect that he's gonna acknowledge you. That's not the way this works. So if you deny Christ when somebody holds a gun to your head, you better believe that he's gonna deny you as well, right? So we gotta strengthen our faith now. So even after this, right? Peter, even though he denied the Messiah and everything. Peter still goes on to be the pillar which Yah uses to establish his church. When the apostle first received the Ruach HaKodesh, it was Peter who stood up and took control and led the people to more righteousness. Acts chapter 2, verse 38. You ready to be nice? Come on. Okay. Acts chapter 2. Go ahead and turn Acts chapter 2. Go ahead, turn the room. Yes, Acts chapter 2. Uh, in your room? Verse what? 38, Ryan Kamari's room. Go ahead, uniform. Ah. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of yeah. every one of you, in the name of Yahshua. 
for remissions of sins, and ye shall receive a gift to the Holy Ghost. Keep going, 39, 40, and 41. What? For the promise is unto you and to your children, and all that are after, afar off, afar off, even as many as heart our Lord are, are Yah shall come, and with many other words. You need to learn how to breathe when you read. That's why I keep yawning. Really? You're, yes, you're not breathing. And with uh, many other words did he to testify. Testify with exhort and exhort and exhort, saying, "Save yourselves from this." Generation. Right, so save yourselves from these crazy folks. Go ahead, 41. Man, the called. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized, and the same day they were added unto them about a thousand souls. It doesn't say a thousand? I mean, 100. Does it say a hundred? A thousand souls. It says a thousand? Yeah. Three thousand souls. Three, three thousand souls. That's a lot of people in one day, right? Oh, I missed the The same day, three thousand people decided that they wanted to serve the Almighty, right? That's a lot of people. Not Man, I wish that many people were still here today. So, yeah. Not Can only. I go collect money? No collecting money. The whole world is not about money. So, not only that, right? So, Peter takes charge. He leads 3,000 people to get saved. But he also wrote several books in the Bible. Do you guys know which books he wrote in the Bible? Peter, Paul. Peter, you know, there isn't a book of Paul. There's not a book of Paul. There's not a book of Peter Paul either. <laughs> There's a book of Peter. How many books? He probably uh, wrote three. Simon. All the three. That's Psalms. John. Psalms. One. He wasn't even born in Psalms. Simon. No, there's two. Two? And they're not really books, they're letters, right? So he wrote two letters. So life is full of ups and downs. Even in the uh, even in the downs, there's an opportunity for growth. If you are always striving to grow, you will continue to abound. Our scripture remembrance for next week is also from Proverbs. Aurelius, so every week we do scripture remembrance. I'll give you guys a scripture. So you're going to want to write this down. And then um, use practice it throughout the week. And then uh, next week when we come back to class, we're going to ask what the scripture is. So you can practice at home, and then you can have your mom test you. All right, so and Proverbs. Wait, Aurelius is a kid? Aurelius is Angel's son. Remember Angel? That's her son. And Brother Johnny's son. Okay, moving on. Wait. So Proverbs 24 and 16. For a just man followed how many times? One. Seven, Seven. Seven times. And rises back up again. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. So that is our scripture remembrance for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Ow. Now it's time Ow. for our art project. Ow. Again, in the description. Wait, I'm not here for the project. This art project is really well. In the, in the description is the template. In the description is the template for, uh, for our project. So our project is we're going to be uh, making a book about the 12 apostles. Mine. You want water? Get her some water. Go get her some water. Yeah, she's gonna she has a, yeah. Look at that girl. She has a little attitude. So, yeah, she does have a little attitude. She woke up from her nap today when I tried to get up. So it's going to be a book about the 12 apostles. So you're going to color everything. And you're going to cut out your apostles and do them on here. Can you get her please so they can hear me? Did you hear me ask for you? I didn't ask you to get me water. I said, can you get her something? Because you took it from me and you upset her. And I'm trying to teach. Go get her. It's okay. Take her out of here for a second, please, so I can explain. Then you can come back. Pick her up. Pick her up. Pick her up. Uh, so you're going to make a book about the 12 apostles. Sorry, guys. You're going to color everything. You're going to color your book, then you're going to color your apostles, and then you're going to cut out your book. You're going to assemble it, and then you're going to glue your apostles on here. And so then you open it up, and it kind of folds out and expands. 
Um, I addressed earlier the here they list um, Judas still as one of the uh, uh, apostles. I would just cut off where it says his name and then you can write in Matthias because they pick sticks and Matthias won the drawing and Matthias takes Judas's place. So Judas doesn't actually count as one of the 12 apostles anymore. I'm not sure why they put that in here. Again, this isn't my template. I just um, I just took it from somebody else. I took it from a website. So you guys can... Uh, the you whole, the website? Yeah, the whole template is up there. You guys can print that off and do it. So here you go. Thank you, even though I, didn't, I don't know what to do. That's yeah, okay. You're going to learn what to do. It's okay. Take the whole thing. Say it to you. You're going to start coloring. Kamara, can you go put the Bibles away? Do you want this one? Color this one. You can still color the apostles. You want this one? Or you want to make your own? I'm going to make it. Okay, well, why don't we start with one? Which one are you going to start with? Bartholomew, Peter, John, Philip, Bartholomew, James, Delaster. Okay. Can you guys want to color this? I'll go to each people. Peter Simon say yes. Oh, Peter Simon will have my premiere. Okay. So you're gonna start. I color the front. I think you should color the front too. But if you don't want to, that's fine. So you can color all your pages. All right. So you color all of these. Sit down. You really, you really only have to color the the. The apostles. You don't have to color the rest of the book, but if you want to color the rest of the book, you can. So you're gonna color this if you want to as well. That's fine. And one is for Kamari. So then you're gonna cut them all out. I'm trying to explain to them. You're gonna cut this page out, and this one, and this one. On these tabs, on the second page. It says, be quiet. On the second page, it says two. So after you cut it out, you're going to put glue here, and you're going to glue that little tab with the glue. You're going to glue it to this part right here. Makes sense? Pretty easy. Almost like a caterpillar. Then you're going to put, I folded them. I folded them as I went. So I actually started, sorry, I meant to mention that. So I folded all these. I did back and forth like an accordion. Then I glued it to this one. And then I also continued doing the back and forth like an accordion for all the different lines. You're going to fold it here on the lines. So then I put glue here, right? And I attached this part to this one right here. And then again, I folded like an accordion on the lines. And then I put glue here and I attached that one to this page with Sitting with Zahara. And then again, I folded on the lines. And this is the last page of the book. Again, you can color these pages or you cannot color these pages. It's up to you. So after you've assembled every part of your book, so all four, all four pieces, then you can color and cut out your, make sure you color them first, cut out your apostles. And you're going to glue your apostles on your book. And I would start with, I would start in order and do them in order. There's not like a uh, right or wrong, but I would put, definitely put Peter first, right? Because we learned about Peter today. And on this rock, Yah built a church, and the rock was Peter. So I will put Peter first at the, as the because he is the head apostle. There's also apostle not here, besides the fact that Matthias isn't here. You also have the apostle Paul, who came later, but he wasn't a part of the original 12. This is just the original 12. Maybe on this last page back here, maybe you want to draw the apostle Paul. You can draw him yourself if you want to. So it's pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy to put together. And at the end... You got to color now the color? At the end, it's, it's going to look like. Well, did you ask? I didn't hear you ask anything. At the end, it's going to look like this. I glued down I glued down this first page because I felt like it just increased the integrity. But you don't have to. So then the end is going to look like this, and you'll have all your apostles here. And then on this side, if you want to, you can glue your apostle ball. So you can see. Hopefully you can see, because I can't really see, where I have my little tabs glued. So that's the first one. That's the second one. 
and then that's the third one. Well, the color too. And it's like an accordion. When I said an accordion, an accordion is that, that musical instrument where they go. <laughs> so it's an accordion. Anywho, I love you all. Y'all, I'm back. I'm going to let them finish their project, and I'm going to go see about this cranky baby of mine. Cranky baby, you're gone! Yeah, she's a very cranky baby. Yeah, and I still These men look ugly. <laughs> look at yours. Yours look like Matthew's. Yeah, I'm sure that's He has gloves on. Yeah, 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 he has gloves. Gloves. Loves. 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 Okay, but do you guys not often try and make guns and everything in no, zombies? I barely. Uh, really? Huh. My one is holding a pyramid. I would like to say, uh, just, because just because we're mischievous doesn't mean you gotta be falling in. Excuse me. How about you stop being mischievous? Hey, but I really oh, yeah. Can you stop taking all the stuff? I'm looking for you. You know how to do it. And stop so Well, let them get. Why don't you ask for a color? She can just hand you a color. It's called communication. Utilize it. Blah, 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 There's blah, no blah, good colors in there. That's not my fault. That's the proxy of you and so losing all the colors. Because yeah. here I don't find no colors. Yeah, I'm going to. This week I'm going to buy. So I keep saying I'm going to buy some more, but this week I think I'm actually going to buy you guys some new color. 
coding. But well, you got to make sure all of them don't use it because they always, as soon as you buy it, they use them all. Uh, so do you, sir. And then Zahara breaks a lot of them. She likes to break the twisted crowns. I want to read a drawing. Why do I use the backpack? Miss Wendy, where's our sharpener? On the wall. I'll show you. Stop crying. Because this one. Uh, the pen is a good point. Guess what? I didn't bring the colors earlier. Thank you. What? Oh, Mayor, this is the secret password. Chicken wing, chicken wing, put some macaroni, share with my homie. Put some blood on you, where's my walking wall? Okay, sing it. Yeah. Well, okay, I lost it. <laughs> look at this, look at this. I got some anchovies, walking to the world, I can like a chubby. If you want some, you can see that. Again? No, here. Yeah, but I want some. Okay, choose a color, tell me. Uh, source. What's the song? Choose me. Chiggy ring, chiggy ring, this is macaroni, sure. That's all. I like blue. No, I'm gonna go, I need it. Well, I'll oh, leave it. The light blue you think of is not oh, it's in here. Look. Let me see. Let me see. You have scarlet in there? Uh, yeah, I think it's done. Actually, yeah, I saw I saw something with an S, and I think it was scarlet. Yeah, and it, it's see. a blue one. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh. I need a crayon, but I really don't want to live in it. That's it. You gotta sing the song, right? I'm not gonna come here. Never again. Get some color and put it back there. Who? Anybody. But before you can That's use this, you have to see this song. Just say chicken wings, chicken wings, put some back. Um, macaroni, share with my homie. That's all you have to say. Since you knew this Let's see if I can find Scarlet. Is that a bear? Mm -hmm. The Scarlet is not a care about my soul? No. I think you would drain your friend right now. Okay, but I am coming here again. You should make something about me. Yes, you said you were never my friend. Yeah. When? I was just kidding with you, but now you said you don't want to be my friend. I was just playing with you then, too. So, you already said I did it. I got 60. I got 50. I'm going to drop a Don't take yourself. No, it looks like to you. Red cheese. That's cream cheese. That's zombie man. Chicken popcorn. Let me see. You done, zombie man? No, I'm sorry. People. All right. People do guy. You guys say shalom. We hit an hour. Shalom. Shalom a todos. Shalom a todos. Shalom a todos. Thank you, my what is that even a word? All right, you guys no. have a great rest of your Sabbath. No. So long. Don't leave me. What? Don't leave me. Don't.